Hi friends, welcome back to A Beautifully Wrecked Life. My name is Cassandra and I am a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. Uh, for this video today, what I wanted to do was give you a full review of my very favorite math curriculum I have ever used. And that is the Charlotte Mason Elementary Arithmetic Series. So Simply Charlotte Mason it publishes this curriculum and it's just this is it this is the whole curriculum which makes it very easy to implement there's not a lot of moving pieces but it is just a beautiful thorough amazing curriculum I absolutely love it this is book one um, we have book two on the dining room table downstairs I've already been flipping through it in preparation for starting school up again next month and I'm just so excited it's just it's it's so much beauty in one little book I want to kind of give you a backstory so when we very first began our homeschooling journey, we were Charlotte Mason inspired homeschoolers, meaning I loved the idea and the philosophy behind Charlotte Mason, but I had no idea how to actually implement Charlotte Mason in our homeschool. It felt like, holy moly, there are just so many moving pieces. She did things so differently from public school that I really just didn't know where to start. And we started with math lessons for a living education because it's Charlotte Mason inspired. Um, it talked about having living stories and living ideas. And we really liked it for a while. I liked that math lessons for a living education was just this one book open and go program. It was very colorful, very cute. My son loved it. You know, there were just all these pictures. There was this fun little story of these kids that we got to read and follow along. And so there were a lot of things to like. It moved slowly and at a good pace for him. And so for a majority of the year, we really enjoyed it. What started to happen was we would go back to topics that we hadn't covered in a little bit and he just would not remember. I was feeling like, okay, maybe this is not mastery enough for our needs. So after hours of sleep deprived research, I landed on Matthew C. It was so mastery based and so hands on with those manipulatives that it seemed like this is the winner. So we started it and we really enjoyed it for quite a while. What ended up happening was for us, it became just this really dry subject. And we got, my son was like, oh, we're doing another page and another page and another page of practice. It just got to a point where I could feel like it didn't work for us anymore. We ended up landing on was Singapore Dimensions. It's very colorful, it's very fun, there's a lot of hands-on stuff. And honestly, I don't think we would have switched from Singapore, except that at that same time, so my son's first grade year, we went whole hog. We went all in on a Charlotte Mason education. We did it very imperfectly. <laughs> we did all the subjects, but I went ahead and held on to math because I felt like I have no idea how Charlotte Mason did math and that is just too big a leap. I'm not willing to take it. So we stuck with Singapore Dimensions his whole first grade year and honestly we enjoyed it. As the year progressed, we're getting to do the whole Charlotte Mason feast and it is a beautiful thing. So we were getting to see history come alive in the pages of these beautiful living books. And we open a book of maps and it's just exciting and it's interactive and it's living. And then we come to math and it dies. <laughs> and so we could feel it. Both my son and I could feel that every subject was living except math. And so that was what really started to weigh on my heart. I felt like if I'm gonna do this Charlotte Mason education, maybe just maybe i should do it <laughs> and so my husband and i talked and prayed about it a lot we went ahead and bought it and so i spent probably a month leading up to our school year just reading through the textbook and trying to understand okay what is this going to look like in action in our homeschool so fast forward to our start of our school year and you guys <laughs> math was alive it changed things for us and how it made math so much more enjoyable. But it comes in this beautiful little volume. It's this linen cover, simple graphics. Um, you do a lot of exploration of each number. You count the number forward, you count the number backwards, you divide it up if you can, you add it in a bunch of different ways, you subtract it in a bunch of different ways. So that's the first thing I really love about the curriculum, that it is an integrated approach to math. We are not learning skills in isolation. We are not teaching kids how to count and then what place value is and then how to add and then we say oh wait a minute now we can do this other thing called subtraction you do it all at the same time and so just like that we're learning concepts that are not taught in isolation but are taught in a hands-on way um, that 
oh, it's just beautiful. <laughs> so that's the first reason that I absolutely love it. It's an integrated approach to math. The second reason that I really love this curriculum is that it uses really simple manipulatives. So with math, you see, especially we had to purchase the specific set that went with the curriculum and it was pricey and it was the only thing we would ever use it for. This curriculum just says, use stuff you have around your home. Use beans, use beads, use popsicle sticks, use pencils if you have enough of them. Ah, what a breath of fresh air <laughs> to not have to go out and purchase a bunch of expensive manipulatives, to not have that be the only thing we're ever gonna use them for, and to not have my son's knowledge of math tied up in those specific objects, because we would switch. Some days we would do beans, some days we would do beads, some days we would do money, and because we were always using something different, he didn't become so connected to the thing that that was the only way he could do the math. The third reason that I really love this curriculum is that it starts with the concrete. So your student is using manipulatives, is touching the numbers, is playing and exploring the numbers um, in a concrete fashion. So your student is um, getting just this hands-on feel for the math. And then once they have really developed an understanding and you feel pretty confident that they can take that concrete and move it now into the imagination, you put away the manipulatives and you start to give them just these oral mental math problems. What I love is that it does move from that concrete. So you do give them plenty of practice. And if at any time there is a hang up or a, oh shoot, I forget how to do this or some confusion, you just pull the manipulatives back out, put them on the table and just kind of go through it again until they have a solid understanding. The fourth thing I love about this curriculum is its strong emphasis on mental math. I feel like in our culture, in our society, in our schools, and I know this because I worked at the high school level, we are churning out children who might be able to regurgitate how you do the thing on paper, but they are not able to tell you why, and they're not able to do it in their head at all. So it's a real problem when you have kids getting to high school, not knowing their addition, subtraction tables, not being able to quickly multiply single digit numbers. So what I love is this curriculum focuses on that mental math so that they lay that foundation. It just makes everything so much easier for years to come. So the fifth reason that I love this curriculum is that the lessons are short, they are engaging, and they are in fact living. Um, I think there's a misconception that in order for math to be a living, you have to have this story that goes with it. Because the rest of Charlotte Mason education, we use living books and it's because the stories come alive, right? For us, math became living when we were able to start taking it and making connections to other things. And one of the things that we had conversations about a lot was the fact that we, we worship a God who's a God of order and not chaos. And we see that in the order of creation. We see that in a lot of ways, but in math, we really see it so clearly because math is so orderly and follows patterns. Math really follows the rules that God gave it. And so really getting to see that and then getting to connect the math to other things we're doing in life. It doesn't stay this isolated subject that we do in a worksheet and then we move on for the day. It's something that we are continuously using in our lives outside of the homeschool room. And so for us, that's what brought math to life. And then the other big thing was, and this was a huge downside to me for Singapore uh, math, was that the lessons were lengthy. I mean, they could go up to 40 minutes and asking a first grader or second grader to sit and do 40 minutes worth of math is just taxing on their mind. And at some point they've checked out and they're not attending to the lesson anymore. And so what I really love about this is that 15 minutes is over the new material, five minutes is review, <laughs> short and sweet. And I was amazed at the amount of material that we were able to cover each week and then throughout the school year with just 20 minutes of math a day. And because of that, my son was able to focus the entire 20 minutes. The final thing I wanna say, and I said it already at the beginning, but honestly, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful and it's so simple because you're not juggling six books that you're trying to cover and fit in on your table and you open one and it falls onto the floor and now you've gotta find your page. It's just one small volume for you, the teacher. And then your student um, is just gonna have a gridded notebook. So we use the big grid so that he had plenty of room to write, but just the gridded notebook, they're going to write the numbers for book one 
and then they're gonna write um, some problems out. We bought the gridded paper. I went ahead and purchased the digital download so I could print it as many times as I wanted from Simply Charlotte Mason. And then um, found this really cute math notebook cover on Etsy, and I will put the link below so that you can get it too if you want. And it's very minimal handwriting, which is wonderful because we're learning math, not handwriting right now. I will say I do have one kind of big downside, and that's the fact that as of right now, so this is June 14th, 2022, um, there are only three books out. So it's not yet a full elementary math curriculum. Um, the author is working on book number four. I think I read that it's in editing right now, um, but there's no publication date yet. So really only books one, two, and three are out. And that's tough because if your kiddo is already in second or third grade, you know, you don't have the full, <laughs> the full curriculum at your disposal yet. So right now, most people will do books one and two, or maybe even one, two, and three of elementary arithmetic then switch over to another Charlotte Mason curriculum called Beauty and Truth Math. And I have not yet used the Beauty and Truth Math guides. However, I have attended a Charlotte Mason conference in which the author of the guides um, did a whole entire session. And I've emailed with her back and forth and gotten some samples and asked some questions and really kind of got a lowdown on how this curriculum compares to hers. So I feel very confident in saying, if you want all you know six years of elementary math just one continuous cohesive curriculum and not change then you might look at the beauty and truth math guides she is currently working on years one and two so they're going to be out sometime this summer but she actually wrote her guides in response to the fact that when her kiddos were going through math only books one and two were out so they did books one and two of elementary arithmetic and then she wrote year three and then she just kept writing from there and now it is a well-developed um, cohesive program that uses Strayer and Epton books. So um, that's really a big downside because if you're really wanting to stick with the elementary arithmetic you're not going to be able to count on the next book being out when you reach book three or hopefully book four comes out soon. If you're wanting to do a Charlotte Mason education and you are like ready to jump fully in or maybe math has been your last sort of hold up like it was for me, I really, really recommend just jumping in. I do hope that was helpful. I hope that it was thorough. If you have any questions at all about this curriculum or just about how we implement it or what that looks like, please feel free to drop them in the comments or to reach out on social media and I will be happy to answer as much as I can. And I, I just hope that this helps answer some questions or hesitations that you might have had. So thank you so much for hanging in there till the end. I will see you next time.